Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use the Arcs module in Campfire Blaze. The Arcs module is great for showing how things in your world change over time. Currently Arcs can only track characters, locations, items, and magic, but we're working on adding support for the other world building modules as well. Let's jump into it. We're going to use a character as an example today, so let's start on its page. To use Arcs, you'll need to have at least one of the following types of panels. Image, text, list, table, or stats. I already have one of each of these here, which means I'm ready to go. If you're curious how the different types of panels work, I'll leave a link to our panel tutorial down below. Before we head to the Arcs module, let's take one more stop in the Timeline module. Arcs uses your events as reference points for when your character changes. This means we need to let Blaze know which events our character is in, and we can do this in a link panel. Let's open this first event, add a new link, and select our character. Now our character is linked to this event. You can also do this from the character page, which I like to do since I can link multiple events at once instead of adding that character to each event one by one. Now we're ready to dive into the Arcs module. Blaze automatically generates an arc for each element. You just have to open the folders in the sidebar and select which one you want to work with. Selecting an element will open its character home. Imagine this as your baseline. This is where your character starts the story, and it's copied over from your character's page. At the top, you can see the events that your character is linked to. Let's hit the first one. This is the changes view in the arcs module. As you can see, this is blank for now, but let's add some panels in the bottom right corner. This lets you add the panels that are in your original element that match those specific types of panels we talked about from before image, list, text, and table. Notice you can't add stats panels here, but we'll get to that in just a second. I'm going to add my image panel and traits list since those will change over time. This is the first event, so nothing's gonna change for these here. Let's head to the next event in our timeline. Let's add our panels just like we did in the last event. The main difference here is that Arcs will pull these panels contents from the previous event rather than your original character page. That way, you can change the specific details from event to event. All right, let's change some stuff. Under traits, we can say the character learned how to use magic. Maybe they were injured and now wear a eye patch. That's good enough for now. And then I'll go add some panels in our last event and make some more changes. Now I can flip through the events at the top to see how the character changes over time. And that's it for the changes view in the arcs module. But there are two more things to look at. Next, let's go down to the bottom right and click the Pages icon. We were just on the Changes page, but there are two more pages in the Arcs module. The next is the Stats view. The Stats page pulls all the stats on your element and graphs them over time. Change the numbers in each event to reflect the stats and watch as the graph changes in real time. You can change the color of each stats line next to its unit type, you can also change the style of graph in the bottom left. There are two different curve settings, a linear setting, and a place to toggle if the points on your graph are visible or not. To get a closer look at one specific graph, click its name in the stats panel or click its line. Click the background of the graph to view all of your stats again. Now let's check out the last view in the arcs module. This is essentially a blank slate for you to add whatever panels you want. These aren't connected to the panels in your original story like the changes view. You could add a text panel where you describe why the character changed the way they did, or put a list of items they gained, anything you need really. And that's it for the Arcs module. Thanks for checking the video out. I hope it's helped you navigate and use Blaze to its fullest. If you have any other questions, let us know in the comments or come by our Discord server. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future tutorials and follow us on social media to stay up to date on all Campfire Blaze related news. Remember that every module in Campfire Blaze has a free tier for you to try out, but if you want to upgrade, there are monthly, annual, and lifetime options. Thanks for watching.